Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the font size on your website. Now, most websites have a lot of different font sizes. There's the font size in the category and, and on this website here, another one in the full category listing, the heading tag for the post, the post content, the meta tags, the comments, this, this boatloads of font sizes. And modern themes, what they all have, nearly all of them anyway, they have a theme options panel where you can set font sizes very, very easily and it makes your life really, really easy. Now, if you don't have a theme that has an options panel, you'll have to resort to using CSS to change the font sizes. I'll show you the basics of how to do that. Uh, every theme is different, so I can't show you exactly how it'd work on your theme because I don't know what theme you're using. But I can show you the, the basics on how to figure out what to apply your CSS uh, selectors to to change the font size. But first, you're gonna go to the theme options. So I find that these two fonts are a little small. The heading font and the text font, a little too small for my liking. So I wanna make those bigger. So if we go back to our dashboard and we go to appearance and then theme options, the Aveda theme has its theme options link here under appearance. Other themes like Divi, for example, they'll add a new menu item in the left sidebar so your theme might have a left sidebar link to the theme options. Uh, Aveda tucks it into, uh, tucks it in with the, uh, with the appearance. And they also have one at the top, so they have two locations. So at this below dashboard, Aveda has the theme options link as well. So inside here, we want to go to typography. You want to look for something similar to, to typography. That's where you're going to be able to change font sizes. And in this theme, you can change a whole lot more than just the font size. You choose a font family. If this font family you choose is not supported by a browser, you can choose a backup font family. You can choose the, the font weight, which is whether it's bold or not bold and what, and what degree of boldness for some fonts. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can change. I just wanna change the font size. So I'm gonna change this from 13 to 20. Then click on save changes. And then those are saved. Now I can go back here, refresh this page and we see that it has increased from uh, 13 to 20 now. But now this heading tag looks a little too small. But I don't know which header this is, so I'm gonna right click on it, click on inspect, and we see that it is the H2 tag. And so now we can go back into our theme options and we have a headers typography link here your typography might all be in the same list. They might have separate categories like, like Aveda does, or uh, you'll find it. It, it. Look for something called typography. And we can change the header size right here. I'm gonna change it to 68, make it nice and big. Save that and then go back and refresh this page. And now this font size will be a lot bigger. So that is, that is a whole lot bigger and maybe even too big. So you get to go back and forth and change them a little bit. See what works, see what, what gets close to what you want or becomes exactly what you want. And then you've set your font size how you want it. But what you can also do if you don't have theme options, you need to use CSS. And the easiest way I've found, let me back up. The most difficult part with applying CSS to modern day themes is these themes are very complex. There's a lot of nested elements in the HTML and you have to sift through those with your CSS selectors to get your font or to get your CSS rules to apply to the right thing, in this case, the font. So the easiest way I've found is we right click on an element. So on your website, like I said earlier, I don't know which theme you're using, they're all a little bit different. So in the case of the Aveda theme website, I wanna change the font size for this, for the paragraph tags inside of content, which is this line right here. I inspected it and we see the P tag so as part of our selector, we're gonna have the P tag. And we need to have upstream selectors like post content, which is a class. So we're gonna have a dot post content. And then I usually like to use a, a way up selector, which in this case is main. And sometimes, as you can see, there's, there's lots. There's, there's main, there's fusion row, next is content, and then post one, and then post content, and then paragraph. Sometimes, you don't know if you've got the right selector. Even on the right hand side, you can go into post content. Uh, sorry, you can go to, click on the paragraph and you can see there's, there's selectors they have applied. 
here. So dot post content space P and that has worked for the theme and that's what they're using, but that may not actually work when you change the CSS. So when you're doing this, there's a lot of trial and error involved. It can be a little bit messy, a little bit painful, but this is really the only way you can do it quickly. You inspect the elements, you find the selectors you want, you find upstream selectors, and then you put that into the CSS file. Now to find the CSS file, you wanna go back to your dashboard and then cover over appearance and then click on editor. And you can edit the style sheet through, uh, the, through the file manager in cPanel, through FTP, uh, through SSH, but I'm just gonna do it through the editor in WordPress. And every time it will load the style sheet first. So as we can see, the Aveda style sheet is loaded here. If it's not loaded for whatever reason, just control F or command F to, to open the search bar up here and search for style.css and it will bring up the style sheet on the right hand side, not bring it up, but it'll find it on the right hand side. And you click on this little link here and then that will load the style sheet into the editor. And this is where you would put your style sheet code. And so, or your CSS code, I mean. So, like I said, every theme is different. So I can't really put code in here and have that work for you. So you have to do a lot of trial and error with this CSS stuff. And the, the most important thing is that you know some CSS, otherwise this is not gonna work well for you. So the best advice I can give you is use the inspector to find out which elements you wanna apply the CSS to and the upstream selectors for those elements, and then use that to create your CSS code. And I have to forewarn you, there's gonna be a lot of trial and error. Sometimes you might get it right in the first try, other times it might take five or six tries. But you just gotta keep trying, and eventually you'll get it. So uh, in this video, we learned how to change font sizes using theme options and regular CSS. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to YouTube channel, and check out wplearnlab.com where we publish more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.